Stefan Garcia is the Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Saint-Gobain Securit, the giant French glass supplier that's involved in all kinds of things with the automotive industry. Stefan, it's a pleasure to talk to you today. Thank you, John. Thank you for receiving me. For those who haven't heard of Saint-Gobain, although I think most Americans would think it's Saint-Gobain, but explain, what is Saint-Gobain? Give us a little history of the company. Sure, so Saint-Gobain um, is a quite large corporation. It's a more than 55 billion uh, US dollar corporation. It's a worldwide leader in sustainable habitat. One of its uh, business unit is actually Saint-Gobain Secret, and in full coherence with this uh, sustainable habitat uh, strategy, uh, we have understood that uh, the car has become really a, a mobile habitat, uh, a true living space, and, uh, and our mission and our strategy as a company is really to bring innovative products uh, in order to improve our lives in this mobile living space. Of course, uh, Saint-Gobain's expertise is in glass. In fact, you were telling me earlier the company's been around for over 300 years? Yes, John. Actually, uh, our company will be celebrating its 350 years anniversary next year. 350. That, that's just an amazing statistic. And of course, uh, you've got so much history in making glass, but especially for automobiles. Let's talk about some of those particular technologies, and let's start with the biggest piece of glass of all, the windshield. What are you doing new with that technology? So, one of um, our, two of our latest developments for windshields are basically in thin glass. Uh, we are now um, uh, launching to the market uh, four, millimeter, four millimeter windshields. Uh, you, you will be able to see them, for example, on the i3 and the i8 uh, at the auto show in Detroit. The BMW electric and plug-in. Absolutely. We are also uh, presented in the Paris auto show together with Renault a three, mm, three millimeter windshield. Uh, so that's uh, that's uh, very much in advance, I would say, and a good. That was uh, for the the EO Lab, the, e the very expen or very experimental car from. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. And so when you say four millimeters on the i3 and i8, three millimeters on the EO Lab, wh what is a typical windshield today? Depending on the market and depending on the brand, it's typically 4.5 to 5 millimeter. So you can appreciate how much uh, is the weight saver on this windshield by bringing it to four and then to three millimeter. Mm -hmm. Another uh, innovation that, uh, that we have brought to the market uh, uh, in, the, in, the, in the past uh, history has been what we call our Climacote windshield, which is a, a coated uh, windshield uh, with a winter and a summer function. So it's, uh, it's uh, able to uh, defrost and defog uh, during a uh, winter. Uh, it's also a very high reflective windshield. It's actually, to my knowledge, the highest performing uh, reflective windshield on the market. Uh, and it has also, uh, in the same package, the, the possibility of uh, using this windshield and the coating on this windshield uh, as an antenna for the car maker. So it's actually a, a three-in-one windshield, so that's, uh, that's pretty nice. What other things are you doing? I'm sure automakers are asking you to incorporate additional features into the glass in, in lighting or perhaps even sunroofs. Absolutely. So sunroof has been really uh, a terrific segment to develop innovation lately on the market. I mean, as you know, this is a, a position that has been growing both in take rates, uh, in pieces, in size, and also in, in content, uh, in value, uh, in, in the sunroof segment. So this is really an exciting place to, uh, to propose new innovation to the market. One of the innovations that you will be able to see at the auto show will be on, uh, on a Ferrari car. We have, uh, we have implemented what we call our low E sunroof, so low emissivity sunroof. So it's a, a sunroof with a quite low TL. Uh, that prevents the cold head and the hot head effect that you have on any typical sunroof. The consequence for this is that the car maker may choose to take out the roller blinder uh, from the roof system. So you understand it's tremendous. I mean, taking out the roller blinder basically means that you will be able to have, a, for sure, uh, a, a cost decrease by, by removing the, the roller blinder itself, then a weight saver. Uh, and on top of it, and more importantly, you will gain headspace. So. And in a small or low sports car like a Ferrari, more headroom is all that much Absolutely. more important. And we have also other versions of, uh, of, this, uh, of this same product that are uh, getting implemented in B and C segments and D segments in, in Europe on future platforms. We have, for example, launched uh, recently uh, also uh, um, 
the Citroën Cactus in Paris at the Paris Auto Show with the same uh, low uh, emissivity sunroof. So, I mean, it's not only for, for sports car. It's for everybody as well. Stefan, thanks so much for this very quick little overview of some of the technology. We would encourage our viewers to go check out Saint Gobain's website for even more information. But thanks so much for the history of the company and stopping by to tell us all Thank about it. Thank you very much, John, for the opportunity. Thank you. Auto Line on the Road from the North American International Auto Show in Detroit is brought to you by St. Gobain, leadership in glass for 350 years.